What's up YouTube, English Asian Boy here, and I'm doing a tutorial, but instead of doing a tutorial for Minecraft, this is a Team Fortress 2 tutorial, and I have Team Fortress 2 opened up right here, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna make a map so we can test out some stuff. And the subject for this tutorial is going to be binding keys with console in Team Fortress 2. Uh, wait, so before we do this, before we actually go into the empty server, what, in order to get console if you don't have it, you can go to options. And, and click advanced. And then enable developer console then apply okay and then and well actually once you've clicked the check mark and you've enabled it you go into keyboard scroll all the way down into miscellaneous and toggle developer console and then edit key and you're gonna make it a this button at the bottom of esc uh so yeah that's what i did it's right below esc next escape next to one, and that's what I did. Then when you click the button, it the console pops up, or you can you can go into Steam, go into go into library, and right click on Team Fortress Two. Go into properties. Set launch options and type in hyphen console and click OK. Then every time you open up TF2, the console will already be up. Okay, so now that you have console, you're gonna wanna go into it, doesn't matter what map it is, I'm just gonna make a map. And just wait for it to load. I'm kind of glitching out. Okay. Okay, now we're in. So let's just join blue team. I'll be a spy, because why not? And the first command we're going to try out is bind. Okay, so this is a binding tutorial for console. So you have to click. You have to go into console and type bind and then any key on your keyboard that isn't occupied. So let's do P because you don't use P at all when you're playing. Bind P and then the command. You have to write the command in quotation marks. So the command is explode. So bind P quotation mark explode quotation mark. Now you click enter, you exit out of console, and now when we click P, we explode. Let's try another one. Let's do U this time. Bind U, quotation mark, quotation mark, plus forward. And that makes you go forward when you click U. As you can see, I'm only clicking U right now. You can see I'm clicking U. Okay, now to un to take a bind off, like say I don't want to make you walk forward, so you're gonna do unbind you. So now when I click U, it's not doing anything. Okay, uh next one. Bind U plus duck and that makes you duck when you click you and oh unbind you and but let's see bind you plus move left but I think that's the command yeah that's it and then move right. 
so U makes you go right also. And you can do the same thing. Move. I think it's so now U goes back. So now let's unbind U. So now U doesn't do anything. Once again. Now let's try another one. Uh oh, oops. You so you know when you click Z or X or C, a bunch of vo the voice menu comes up. This is voice menu one. This is voice menu one. Z. Voice menu two. X. And voice menu three is C. Well, let's say I want to learn how to say spy when uh without having to click X and then two. So. What you're gonna do is bind, okay, whatever key you want. So let's say U, bind, oh no, let's say F. Bind F, voice menu. And then here's the trick. It, since X is 2, X is voice menu 2, you have to minus 1 for everything. So voice menu 1, and then. See, let's see. It says spy is number two in the list. And then once again, you're going to have to minus one. So it's voice menu one, one. This one represents the number, the voice menu. This number represents where it is inside of the voice menu. And you have to minus one, remember that. So now I binded F. So now when I click F, he says spy. Okay, and you do the same thing with everything else. Okay, now here's the. He, I'm getting to the fun parts. Let's say I want to bind. Oh, first, wait. Did I unbind you? Okay, yeah. Let's say I want to bind slash. Okay, wait. So, if you haven't ever done this before, you can see my arm looks a little longer than normal. And if you look right where it says cloak, at the bottom right of my screen, right below that, there's like a little empty hole where my hand should be, but it's like not connected. And at the bottom left, there's like my hand is just loot like out. My hand is like I don't know, very strange looking. And then when I use Dead Ringer, I have three hands apparently. Well, how I made my arm go longer is this. So, but by Bind you. Wait, let's do slash. Bind slash. And the command is toggle view model FOV. And, that, and then uh, 54 is what it's normally at. So let's do. Let's do 100. No, no, no. Let's do. Okay, first of all, let's do 54 to see what it looks like normally. Yeah, that's what it looks like normally. As you can see. Wait, well, I think that's what it looks like normally. Is it 60? Okay, so anyway, so let's just go back to 54. Yeah, 54 is normal, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now move fifty-four. Okay, so now what you're gonna do to make it longer like mine, you do ninety. And that makes it all like oops, I accidentally clicked F. So that makes it long like this. That makes it long and it looks normal and nice and not weird. So now let's do another one. Uh, let's do bind you say, and then let's say uh, orange buffaloes. And then and remember you do the command in quotation marks every time. So now when I click you, orange buffaloes. If you see at the bottom. The, like slightly bottom left, it says orange buffaloes, and now I can just keep on clicking you, and I I've just said it like so many times that I'm to type.
So yeah, so let's unbind you. Uh, now, let's see. Okay, and... Hmm. What should... I think that's it. Okay, so, uh, before we finish, I just want to show you guys a really fun thing that I like to do. You go back to the toggle view model thing, and then type in 300. And then, your arm is upside down.